Hey, it's Monica Cost. I am trying to put out more video content this year. If you are anything like me, you might be able to relate that sometimes you have a lot that you want to say going on in your mind and you may even write it down in a journal, but when you go to write the article or the blog, it doesn't come out quite like you wanted it to. So I thought this was one of those things that I wanted to talk about on video. And that is this whole concept of control. I had an epiphany today and I can't believe that it took me so long to come to it because I have been on this authentic journey uh, for the past seven years now. Wow, that's a long time. Feels like a long time anyway, but I not that I'll ever feel like I've arrived at a place. I'm always going to be on a journey. But this is one of those things, control is one of those things that I really thought that I had. And I'm taking this personal mastery course, a professional development course for myself, which I have um, not taken any in a while. And in this, they talk about, or Dr. Rao, I should say, talks about giving your effort and then detaching yourself from the outcome. And when I first heard it, I said, oh, yeah, got it. No problem. And then I thought about it a little further. And then I got home and I started thinking about how much I absolutely, when I am making decisions, when I am implementing my process, I'm absolutely expecting that it's going to yield an outcome. And the reason why this epiphany to me has so much meaning right now is that in this mode of authentic living, I talk about living from your core values and detaching yourself from the outcome, meaning that you don't make decisions based upon what you think you're going to get back. I've been saying that for years and I believed it, kind of, but I guess I really didn't at the core understand that it applies to everything. So that means you could make every effort Let's say to get to a meeting on time, you get up early, you plan your wardrobe the night before, and on the way out the door, you fall and get something on your suit. That's a silly example, but <laughs> you get what I'm saying. What I'm saying is that you did everything quote unquote right. You got everything ready, you planned for it, You all your I's were dotted and your T's were crossed and you were ready to go and still you either didn't make it to the meeting at all or you couldn't make it on time. So this epiphany that I had is that we've got to give up this notion that we even have control because we don't. All we can do is implement our process in a way that we don't have regret on the other side. And then I guess kind of the exciting part is that we just have to see what happens. Now, obviously, that could go either way. It could turn out like you want it to turn out, or it could turn out like you don't want it to turn out. And I know most of us like to say when it, either way, or usually when it turns out the way we don't want it to, that people say, oh, everything happens for a reason. And we have all these things that make us feel better about why things didn't turn out the way we wanted them to. And then we give ourselves praise when they turn out the way we do want them to. And I think that it has finally clicked to me that we don't have control over it either way. But again, the goal is to set the process such that no matter what happens, that you're comfortable with the way you got to the outcome. So it's not the, that the outcome is what you wanted, it's the way that you got to the outcome. Anyway, I don't want to ramble, but I want to put that on video if you can relate to it, please post some comments. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you think it's whack, you should just keep it to yourself unless you have some feedback on how I can make these video blogs a little better. All right, that's it. Give up control. Relinquish it right now.